I've been Iraq uh, three times. Uh, twice we did comedy for the troops. The third time was vacation. The third time, I just wanted to see it. And it is nice. They have one tree. It's gorgeous. So you wait in line for that. And then you fight your way back to the plane. So it's like a hiking trip of sorts. When we did comedy for the troops, we'd go over there and they would have uh, a lot of like small bases where they only have like 40 troops at these bases. So they would have like a lot of makeshift stuff for these guys, like their bathrooms. They had pipes dug in the ground and that's what they would pee into. And then if they did the other, they had a bag. They called it a wag bag. So it was very awkward. Like I went up to a soldier, I go, where's your restroom at? And he was like, you gotta go number one or number two. It's like, well, I don't really see how that's your business. <laughs> And to be honest, I might mix it up, so... <laughs> why don't you let me decide, all right? We have barely made eye contact. <laughs> I gotta go to uh, Bahrain, too, which I uh, learned was a country when I got there. I thought it was the guy we were meeting, and... It was... <laughs> when you go to Bahrain, you go and you stay on an army base, but there you can actually leave the base and go out to the city. So they tell you, they're like, look, if you go out there, it's safe, just don't draw attention to yourself. So they were like, don't wear American t-shirts. And I was like, all right, like, that's fine, no American t-shirts. So what are you gonna do about the white on my skin? <laughs> that's gonna be more of a problem. I don't want them to come up to me like, excuse me, are you Muslim? Uh, Southern Muslim, actually. <laughs>